Good evening. What's going on there, guys? It is uh, the Earthmaster here doing a quick update video on this Saturday evening, September 18th, 2021, about 11.42 p.m. West Coast time, California, where we are kind of rocking and rolling a little bit uh, over the last 24 hours. You can see some earthquake activity ramping up into parts of Idaho as well, where they had a 4.0 earthquake striking uh, the Stanley, Idaho area. Let's go ahead and check out uh, what's going on out here in the North American continent. Quite a bit of movement along the West Coast. And as I mentioned, all the way up into parts of Idaho. Uh, also kind of watching maybe a potential swarm kick up here in, in Yellowstone as well. This is the 2.5 map and above. You can see a lot of earthquake activity ramping up uh, right around the Bay Area as well. This uh, 3 point, uh, let's see here, what do we got? 3.0 i could have swore it was a 3.3 uh, looks like it got downgraded struck a few hours ago right around the um, dublin area it looks like we were looking at uh, quite a bit of movement along the Cal calaveras fault system Let's see if we can bring that up well it's past the 24 hour uh, period here let me go back one more so this is the all magnitudes over the last seven days. You can see quite a bit of movement up here uh, along the Calaveras fault system. A little bit of buildup. And uh, no doubt that 3.0 kind of shaking things up around the Bay Area. Also a little earthquake off the San Andreas Fault near Pacifica. Quite a bit of movement in the Bay Area, folks. Uh, a little bit of swarming here around the Hollister area. And some further earthquake activity along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. Uh, still looking at, well, what do we got here? I don't know if this is from yesterday or not. I don't believe it is. Uh, but it is some older earthquake activity. But still notable to mention, uh, there was a little swarming activity near Los Banos. Quite a few twos kicking off. But it looks as though within the last few hours, things calming down potentially in that area. But who knows? Got a little earthquake right there. Gonna have to watch. Um, Sierra Nevada Mountains, the Antelope Valley area still seeing some activity, but just not quite as sufficient as uh, last night. Shouldn't say sufficient, but um, things appear to be calming down in the eastern Sierra Nevadas at the moment. Uh, some activity around the Los Angeles area again, including a little aftershock 2.0 near Carson. Of course, this is where they had that uh, <clears throat> the uh, 4.3 yesterday. Uh, no swarming along the Salton Sea. Looks pretty quiet there. I uh, got these hiccups. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, so let's see what we got here up in Idaho. We'll check out the Pacific Northwest here in a little bit. But Idaho kind of kicking up here. It's been relatively quiet. Uh, it all kind of ramped up following a 4.0 earthquake in the vicinity of the area where we see quite a bit of movement here over the last 30 days or so. Uh, not only 30 days, but beyond that, uh, we're talking about months of activity in this region. And it all kind of follows a, a line of activity here, kind of like an L-shaped, uh, but mostly centered around the northern end of the Sawtooth Fault area. So still uh, quite a bit of movement there kicking off uh, following that 4.0. We'll keep an eye on that uh, down there around the Pecos, Texas area. A little bit on the larger size as well with a 4.0 in that region. Oklahoma, uh, still seeing some activity it looks like around the, uh, what do we got out there? Aaron Springs? I, don't, I can't say I've ever been around that area. Paul's Valley, yes. Chickasha, yes. Uh, let's see here, just 2.7. Some shallow earthquake activity kicking off up there and some movement north of Oklahoma City. Uh, New Madrid area, 1.4. East Coast looking pretty quiet. Some movement around the South America region as well. Nothing really stands out at the moment. Most of the activity c appears to be confined to the North American plate. Uh, Pacific Plate boundary along with a swarm of activity throughout the uh, southwestern portion of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, New Zealand 
having a little bit of activity uh, towards the south end a little 4.4 and also towards the north up here around the Kermadec Trench 4.8 35 kilometers some deep movement around the Tonga area with a 5.2 at 200 kilometers and there's that trail of activity through the Indonesia region we're kind of watching Japan did see some further movement uh, today uh, looks like a 4.6 uh, 4 and also a 4.4 a little bit further inland this earthquake down here near Taiwan pretty deep 100 kilometers uh, below the surface for that earthquake uh, let's see what do we got in the Hawaii area looks looks like it's calming down a little bit uh, Mauna Loa got a little two-pointer but most of the activity around the southeast flank of the Big Island let's check out the Yellowstone thumbnails real quick and there is the four-pointer you can see that four-pointer kicking up on the stations on the northwest edge of the uh, Yellowstone region. Some of these uh, earthquakes are the uh, the three pointers that kicked up off there. Looks like there was a uh, <clears throat> 4.0 and at least four three pointers following that earthquake, and that's showing up pretty uh, significantly on the Yellowstone seismographs. Um, let's see here. I was looking at some earthquake activity kind of ramping up here and it looks as though following that four pointer which is right about there it's it's smaller on this scale because of the sensitivity of the station but uh, looks like following that uh, four pointer within the last hour or two seen some spikes of earthquakes uh, potentially could be sig signaling a uh, swarm kicking up here in Yellowstone so we will definitely keep an eye on that area the trimmer map in the uh, uh, Pacific Northwest, Northern California, appears to be the only one uh, experiencing the trimmer at the moment along, along the Cascadia. 87 epicenters of trimmer uh, at the southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, what do we got for solar weather? Let's check this out real quick here, folks. Uh, looks like that uh, KP index really jumped up there to five um, yesterday. Or uh, early, yeah, late last night, early this morning, it looks like. Uh, but far as future activity, it looks like things uh, calming down somewhat. As uh, far as the three-day geomagnetic forecast looks green across the board. Uh, there is a 25% chance of a sea flare. Looking at the sun, a couple coronal holes facing, could potentially face Earth here. One at the north, one at the south. Uh, but these here kind of going to be facing the earth here pretty soon also some sunspots to watch around the uh, horizon of the sun all right folks i'm going to jump off here been kind of chasing uh, some storms today not storms but some rain here in northern california just a little bit uh but not a not a whole lot it was nice to uh, at least get some clouds in the air and uh, a little bit of sprinkles on the ground Another chance of some rain tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Have a good night, folks. We will chat to you guys a little bit later. Stay safe and be prepared out there, West Coast. Uh, looking pretty active. Take care.